It's on. We are at the base of Birdland on our first day. We got up this morning after getting in at whatever. What was it? 2.30? 3.30? No. We fell asleep at 3 a.m., but technically it was 6 a.m. our time. That's right. But we don't feel overly tired. So here's the view from where we are, which is super nice. Dave and Rob and Ben are somewhere around that corner doing a climb, I think. And we're going to try to do a good job of taking video while we do stuff while we're here so that you can see it. And I don't have my boot on. And her ankle is doing all right so far, but I will mother her appropriately <laughs> so that she does not hurt herself in a major way. I just won't tell. All right. Uh, that's all. Are you this, going? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's going. No. We are, we'll have, to, we'll have to cut to the video from last year where I was holding on and going, mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm, yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> Because for whatever, because I was super nervous was about the chill. heights. And apparently for whatever reason this year I'm not, which is good, in the same spot over here. So that's where Rob and Dave were coming down. We're going up that way. Adrian is going to lead this pitch. I led it last year and Adrian's yeah, going to lead it this year. It's not technically my first trad pitch, but it's my first multi-pitch trad pitch. Yeah. So... Ryan's a good teacher. He's been going over stuff. Real fancy. Real good teacher. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So super weird, but for whatever reason, I'm not nearly as nervous this year. I think partially because my arm doesn't hurt like it did last year. And it's just sort of... I'm more familiar with what we're doing. So that's good. We came down. We came up from over there. We're going up over there. And we'll do like a quick video when we get to the top. What? We're Here's back it. down at the bottom. Adrian's eating food and she didn't make me any. That's right. This is my <clears throat> this is my reward for doing the pitch. Yeah, she did a trad lead and this is kind of a smudgy. There. Uh, she did a good trad pitch. It was a good challenge. I we did the other ones. The last pitch was super fun and challenging. And we just got down. We forgot to take a video at the very top because we were in the middle. Like when groups get to the top, they start coming down. And so you have to start sharing spots with people. And so there's a little more work to do. And you're trying to be nice and cordial with everyone. So we kept moving. And my feet hurt. Yeah, I my feet hurt too. Wait. I was thirsty and hungry. And we wanted to get down and get food. And you can see it's like a different time of day. The sun's going down, so we want to try to get make sure we get back to the car while we have some nice sun because it is uh, uh, it's like a 45 minute hike out. Is that right? Yeah. About 45 minutes to hike out. So good. It was a good first day. Way better than before. I was not yeah, afraid of heights time. like before for whatever reason. So that's yeah. good. That's good. All right. Okay. Where are we? Prince of Darkness. And. I don't know if I'd like that route or not. I know. We're only at I the... I can't decide. We're only at the top of the third pitch. Oh, i got to clean this. Sorry. Can you clean it? <sighs> I don't know if that's any better. Oh, there we go. We're only at the top of the third pitch. So, like, that's down. And that's up. And it's just like it's freaking hard well i had like a mental breakdown on the second pitch yeah it's all super delicate and thin and we were yeah. real tired and we got up to the top of the third pitch and everyone said the third pitch on up was significantly easier <laughs> and i was like it wasn't that Not much easier really. i was i said that i would like if i had to lead that third pitch that i would have a mental breakdown I yeah think. i was like i don't want to do that again yeah yeah it's too much it's too anxiety producing i yeah. just can't do that pitch again yeah so we're gonna repel from here and go home and be totally satisfied with our time spent on this route because it was all right it was you, it was worth trying again i mean it's fun and like the type two fun type of stuff yeah exactly and i totally earned my goblet of ice cream yeah and amen. the cookie the size of my face amen we'll I'm take the, have no shame we'll when have I to eat take that later the, we'll have to take the camera we'll with us <laughs> take the camera we're gonna find i need a gob it needs to be a goblet it needs to be like minimum this big yeah right yeah and then a cookie like this big the size of my face yeah that's what i want
Okay. All right. We're going to repel now, and we'll see you all later. All right. Can you see it? I have no idea. Something like that should be fine. <laughs> Smile. Okay. That's good. That's an interesting. You know, these are just candid moments, right? That's right. Something super exciting. Well, explain, explain to my nieces and nephews, nieces and nephews, what we're doing right now. Uh, we are pulling the rope from through two carabiners. Well, yeah, basically carabiners from the top of this rock because we rappelled down it because so that big cliff behind it is what we climbed but as we're hiking out this is the only way to get down so obviously it looks scary to climb down it without a rope so we put a rope on that's right we're being very safe <laughs> i never know it's actually working just hit the button once and so look on the top. I did. See how it's it counting? Kind of yeah. That means it's working. Okay. So, Ryan? Yes? I made two of these this morning. Yeah. One for me and one for you. Yeah. Are you going to eat it or am I going to eat it? I feel like right now you're going to eat it. This is the second one. Do I get to eat it? I feel like you're going to eat it right now, aren't you? Well, that's what I'm asking before I eat it. Yeah, I mean, there's more food. You can eat it. Now there's Are the legal sure? proof. That you did not steal it from me. I asked nicely. Uh, so do I get to eat this now? Yeah. Kind of dying. Yeah. Okay. Hi. We're hiking out. This is the trail. We just came from up there. We were hiking, we were climbing that rock face up there, the one with the big long black streaks going down the middle of it. And we ran our way down through that. And now Adrian is going down we had to go out and around because those big rocks make it too hard to go straight up the riverbed but basically we just follow the riverbed down down out of the canyon back out to the sun good job adrian this is <laughs> silent video that's candid for intermittent segments I'm, Wait, see, I'm you, 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 you're not supposed to talk right now. <laughs> you can't tell people it's candid. That's not how candid works. Oh crap! This is what it looks like navigating down through the through the way. Oh, look at that. Look how nice this is walking out here. Sure. Imagine how nice this would be if peop if I wasn't talking in the middle of it. What a wonderful candid shot it would be. But we got to keep going all the way out there. Yeah, you should do candid of you, though. Okay. Can you see all candid of you? Why not? not really You're more photogenic. I look real photogenic right now. That's right. You look like a real outdoors person. Okay, whoa, my backpack was making me off balance. All right, I'm turning this off because I have to actually use both hands. See you in a bit. Canada view now. Well, here we're gonna we're gonna explain. Oh, you have to unhook it if you want to do that. We're gonna explain how to hike across this terrain as we go. All right, Ryan's are you gonna willing? Are you willing to narrate? No. I'll walk and you'll describe. No, you want me to narrate? I think you need to narrate, you're a better narrator. 
Because I don't even know what you're trying to, like, what, like, take a step and step down? Yeah. And, but, like, like keep more balance. Here, I'm going to keep the camera. I'm going to walk behind you. Oops, no. sorry. And I'm going to explain. I mean, I have making. to be the model for yes. the situation. Yes, you said you didn't want to narrate. That's you can narrate it's as the you rules. You either narrate, you you're either on camera or you're narrating. Here, watch. You go, and I will narr oh I'll narrate. Or no, I not even that complicated. I'll you narrate. You should have done it when we were back there doing like the crazy down climbs. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do I'm this. Very... I'm gonna film my feet while I go. I'm very curious as to like what sort of. This video is gonna be amazing. <laughs> so this is this is for my nieces and nephews to understand how to hike through a place like this. First off, the trail is pretty much wherever you can figure out to go. So we could have gone on the other side of this rock, but we didn't. We went on this side because it looked easy. And now we're going up a rock to figure out if we can go down a rock. So you're basically trying to make it as easy on you as possible. Path of least resistance. Path of least resistance, just like water. I bet this is making people seasick. But see, you can make your way through rocks. Or at times you can make your way across the tops of rocks, which means you're actually not changing height that much. It's not like you're going up and down and up and down or climbing over stuff. You're basically just walking across the top of it. That was a great example. That was. You missed it. Oh, I, I was watching you do it. Sometimes you gotta lean down a bit, other times you don't. See, look, I'm just gonna step down and she leaned down. So when you come out here to try climbing, you already understand the concept of how to navigate the trail. See that? You just step across there. You, you can just step across the big gap because those big rocks are nice and big. This is a cairn or a cairn. That's another one. That's another one. That's, kind of another one that That's one that fell over a little bit. So, and here's one right back over those trees, over these little bushes. And the purpose of them, if you don't know, is to direct you through a trail. So like right here, we've been coming down the gully all this way. You can see the rock face we were climbing. Is that one right there? So here we turn this corner and go up this trail to get back to the parking lot. And the Karen helps make it clear that, hey, there's a reason you should stop for a second and make sure you know where you're going. And that's what that does. Well, without the Karen, we would just keep going down the wash. That's very true. We don't know where the trail goes. Because every place in the desert looks like a trail. Yeah, exactly. That's You'll see that in a little bit. As we walk along the trail, it meanders around because there's not that much foliage to limit where you can walk. So you got to really pay attention to where you're going. Now, you'll notice the landscape is drastically different because we're now up out into the desert. See, right back there is the canyon. We just came up over that hill. And that's all areas that people can go climb. And now we're back out to like cactus and stuff because this land doesn't get nearly as much water as what's going down the canyon. And you can that's see that... Cool that is a cool looking cactus. Check that cactus out. Let's look at it close. Check it out! And then a bunch of those cactuses. Cacti. And then... There's some boulders laying around out here, but you can see the trail is much more like a normal hiking trail, but it's very rocky, so it's still kind of hard on your feet. Look how nice it is over there. Look how gigantic. The, this, this camera will do no justice to the gigantic panorama that is this area, but trust us, it's very big. Don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch that. That's spiky. It's very spiky. You can actually see way out there in the distance, just uh, just above the bright spot, there's like a little rectangle and that's like a 20 story tall, maybe like 15 story tall hotel. So if you can even make that out in this video, that gives you an idea of just how far we can see. That's over in Vegas proper. And we're out on the edge and this is me walking. My hair is probably real messy. We have not showered. It's a, uh, is today Thursday? Yeah. Today's Thursday and I showered on Tuesday. So how good are Ryan's driving skills? We 
we are, this is the four wheel drive road that took us back to where we just climbed. Ugh. And I'm trying this, my best to keep it stable. Yeah, this, this section is particularly bouncy. But here, look out the front so they can see kind of what it looks like. But this is a dirt road. Well, that was the bouncy part. If you can see it. We have to go really slow. <coughs> we got a Jeep on the trip, and it's got four-wheel drive, which is nice. So we feel fancy. But it doesn't have power locks, which is a pain in the ass. Don't swear in front of my oh, sorry. Pain sorry. Pain in my butt. I can't believe where we are right now. Walmart. <laughs> Do you not understand the significance of that? It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But the deals are so good. This is how dinner looks. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you sit out in the cold in your coats and hats and cook up a bunch of stuff in one big pot. One pot Mexican food. Looks like that is pretty good. It's especially good when you're super hungry at the end of the day. It's probably not showing up super well, but this is our tent and it's nighttime on our second day here. And we are going to bed. It's 9.17 and we're going to bed because we're tired. And this is what a tent looks like. Although you guys have been in a tent before. So, we got a little light and we can get situated. And we're gonna fall asleep now so that we can get up and climb stuff tomorrow. So, that's about it. That's about all there was to it. We ate a bunch of food and now we're exhausted so we'll fall asleep and we'll sleep real good and then we'll wake up in the morning and do it all over again. see him anymore he's just getting to the top edge we are on olive oil and we are this is an actual top out route which is kind of nice we're on this spot right now you can see this platform we came from over there around that corner and that's the view out behind us don't film me blowing my nose okay and I won't film Adrian blowing her nose Rob how's your day been spectacular um, how has your week and a half been it's been tiring. <laughs> Rob got here a week before us, and he and Dave are gonna go try a super hard one tomorrow. So, it'll be interesting. Epic potential is high. Yeah. They're gonna do what, 2,000 feet? 2,000 feet tomorrow. 2,000 feet tomorrow. Get up at like 4 a.m. Vacation where you get up before the sunrise. Not All right. Vacation. Yeah, exactly. At the top of the mountain, right here, we went up there, and now we're making our way down which is a spicy down climb for a little bit here, but we're in good shape. That's the parking lot way down over there. You used to Megan under the bus a lot. You're like, eh, Megan did it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yay, now I gotta go. Now I gotta go do it. Karen. Switch back so we're ready to go. Yeah.
so far out there. Huh? See, this is proper magic hour. Are you filming? <laughs> 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 That's what you can if you get that on video too. Yep. Good job. Keep going. You should crop that out. Alright. You can go through here. right every time we get to this area where you can see the trail up the hill to the parking lot there at the top where that sign is that's actually Rob right up there when you get to the spot of the trail you're so happy because the hiking is almost over because the hiking is the least fun part of the whole process no I'm talking to my niece and nephew I'm talking to my niece and nephew because they love me and I love them too aww, aww. been too hard on these boots that I got super cheap so I bought a new pair we went to the store and I got these instead and I didn't want to spend money on boots but I figured I should probably have good shoes so I don't sprain my ankle again so now I'm gonna change my shoes and throw away the other ones in that trash can so Ryan is reading the description of hello the next pitch or part of the climb that we're gonna do and he is did you read it all mm -hmm. He's holding my phone. With both hands. And there up. is a lot of feet below, so if my phone falls, it will not survive. It will survive. Yeah. Show, show straight down there. We're sitting on a um, giant chalk stone. We climbed through there. It was a real tight squeeze. And so if you see, we have a backpack. And I had it on my back, and I couldn't get through. So I had to clip it to my harness. You can see it's clipped here. And it was dangling below and I had to drag it up. It wasn't fun. Yeah, so. exactly. So Ryan is gonna go. Go out that way. Up. Somewhere over there. Yep. Yeah, and then we're be, done. Then we're at the top and. We've done five. Then we hike off the back. Yeah, we've yeah. done five and this is the sixth pitch. We gotta go all the way down. Y'all. But it'll be fun. Right? This is fun. Be, this is fun. fun Going up was fun and nerve wracking, but fun, worth doing. Going down will be like, get it over with to go yeah. eat ice cream tonight. Yeah. Big bowl of ice cream. It's very windy, but we're at the top. Windy. Good job. <laughs> There's where we came up. Here's the view out. There's. So we're happy, we made it. We had to do one temporary belay just down there because I didn't know if I was close to the top or not and had a lot of rope drag. But we'll talk to you later because it's windy and we're gonna get off of here. Oh, one more time. So we just came from right up there. Our friends are hiking to the very tippy top of what's over there. They're, not hiking, oh, they're climbing, they're climbing, sorry. They're climbing. Uh, from somewhere way down in that gully. So they're doing like 2,000 feet, Rob and Dave, all the way up to the top there. We started higher, ended lower, um, but also got done a little bit sooner. So that's good. But now we're... <laughs> they might be done. They might. No, I... They well, started I, at two... They, they I saw their up. Jeep. I saw their Jeep at the parking lot when I was finishing up up there. So they... Well, they also woke up at 2.30. Yeah, they also got up at 2.30. So now we're, we're going down. See, this trail is much more reasonable than it looked a second ago. This is the trail. It's just down the bare rock with more cairns that are explaining where to go. This is a great example of how sticky this rock is. That's right. You just walk down the slope. Like here, I'm going to hold this as level as possible. And now I'm going to tilt down. And maybe that will give reference to how wonky of an angle this is. Yeah. Make it level with the surface which is gonna look real funny because you're gonna be like tilted way off balance, but that's how she stands up 
on this surface that's like square so pretty fun This is a cool alien looking plant that we found. This thing. We're gonna Google it later. That's figure right. Figure out what it is. It's like got this bright red, these bright red branches, but part of it dies off and looks like all ashy and gray. And like like right in there, like one part of the branch is red and the other part's gray. Like totally wild, but pretty it looks cool. Like the skin. Like what the skin is doing. Oh, maybe the red is the skin. Yeah. It's like an outer skin. Oh yeah, it peels off. Anyway, one of the cool plants out here. Karen, a super cool looking plant. The wind picked up. It's super windy now. We came back and the tent was mostly on the ground. So look. piled up the sand alongside of it to make sure the wind goes up and over instead of getting underneath the tent to help lift it up. We put big stones over the tent things because it's so freaking windy. Look at how it's blowing. Blah. That's how crazy the wind is. The weather out here changes all over the place. So we came back to the tents before dinner today on our rest day and found that. So we were buckling down a little bit before we go try to find food. We're not going to try to cook out here in this weather because it's terrible. There goes Dave walking. It's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> it was so warm this morning and it's so cold today. That's their tents over there. Stake down a little bit. But yeah, wild temperature changes and weather changes from day to day out here in the desert. Cold at night and hot in the day and super windy and then not super windy. There's someone flying a kite. Hi Adrian. Why are you so close? Hi Adrian. How's it going? Hi Adrian. How's he, how are you? So that's all. We're going to go find dinner tonight and maybe climb tomorrow, but it looks like it's going to be super cold and windy tomorrow. So we're making the best of what we can do. Where are we? We're in the tent because it's windy and cold and really windy and like more windy. This is nice. The wind has let up for right this second, but we'll see if it kicks in in a second here because you'll see the whole place just kind of shake here let's lean back like this and see if it kicks in oh, here we go that's that's what yeah there's always a chance that the tent poles don't hold and the whole thing falls over on us the wind is coming from the northwest, which is basically the corner of the tent that's closest to my head. So if it collapses, it'll collapse on my head mostly. But it's just a tent, so it's like. But then that means we gotta like get out. We gotta sleep in the car. Yeah, get out of the tent, try to make sure our stuff doesn't blow away, and then go sleep in the car. This is. That's like worst case scenario. It might be totally fine. Exactly. We'll see. We'll see what happens in the morning. We'll see if we got a complete tent or not. Nighty night. It's the last day here and we're packing things up. Our tent survived the night, which is good. Um, but we're sad to pack things up and get ready to go. So Adrian's leaving tonight and I'm leaving in the morning. And we're going to try to go climb a little bit this afternoon before we have to take her to the airport. But it'll just be like a quick little bit. And it's still, it's kind of a cold day. It's starting to warm up a little. But yeah, it's a, sad that it's over, but that's all right. All right, we'll see you later maybe.